Okay, in this video I will talk about the status bar in CoReader installed on your ebook reader. Here on the table we have three devices that has CoReader installed. We have a Kindle Basic here, and we have the Kobo Clara here, and here we have the uh, Kindle Paperwhite. So the Kindle Basic, Kindle Paperwhite and the Kobo Clara has all CoReader installed. CoReader uh, works the same on all devices that you have co-reader installed on so you can have an android based air reader like the Unisbox Palma, a Bigme for example or even an android smartphone or an android tablet running co-reader. So the status bar and the options for that works the same on any device that has co-reader installed. So let's start by using this Kindle Basic. So here we have a Kindle Basic and if you click up here Let's uh, finish the network scanning here first, like so. Uh, let's click up here to go to the different options. And if you click on the gear icon, you will have the status bar options down here. So click on the status bar menu option. And from here we have everything you can do with the status bar and the progress bar. Down here you see what I have in the status bar. A lot of different uh, information and of course you can choose to have whatever you want to uh, show here you don't even need to have anything here if you want you can even click here to turn uh, the complete status bar off like this when reading if you prefer and above the status bar I have a progress bar and this progress bar I have decided to show the chapter markers and how long the chapter markers how long the chapters are I mean and also where I begin reading in this session a little dot there so if we now want to customize the status bar and the progress bar we go into that menu I just show you uh, status bar and from here we have everything we can do we can start with a uh, alt status bar. I don't use the alt status bar. That is a status bar you can have at the top, uh, only on the top if you prefer, or with the status bar at the bottom and an alt status bar at the top at the same time if you prefer. That could be great on a small device like the Unix Books Palma, for example, that uh, doesn't uh, fit so many information because the display is so. Uh, thin, so small if you prefer, uh, so not as wide as a Kindle for example. Uh, but I don't use the status bar. Uh, I use a progress bar as I said, uh, down here. So if you go into the progress bar, you can show the progress bar by clicking in there. You can show only chapter progress bar instead, if you prefer to show how much is left of the chapter instead of the book, you can choose that. You can choose if it should be above status bar items or below. You can also choose how thick it should be. Uh, for example, I have mine, my progress bar at, at 10, as you see there. You can also choose margins. The margins is for the left and right margins here. I prefer have zero there, but you can choose to have a margin. You can also show the initial position mark, as I said, that little tiny dot shows where you start reading this session. You can also show chapter markers on off there if you don't want to see the chapter markers in the progress bar. You can also choose the chapter marker width if you prefer to have it thick or thin and I want to have it thin because some books have a very short chapter so then I need to have the, the marker quite thin. So that was the progress bar. If we now go into the status bar items instead, that is the items you choose to have down here. And for example, the Paperwhite has a larger display. It fits more things in the status bar than on the smaller Kindle Basic or the uh, Kobo Clara. So I can for example have the Wi-Fi symbol that shows that I have connection. 
as an example or you can have everything larger if you prefer instead of have a lot of different stuff you can have less stuff here and have larger font larger size of the items So, in this setting we show uh, which we want to have in the status bar, we choose that here. You can have the current page, pages left in book, I have pages left in book down here as you can see, 629 pages left. You can choose the current time, that could be nice to see what the time is at the moment. Uh, current page in chapter, pages left in chapter, battery percentage, bookmark count, progress percentage, time left to finish book, time left to finish chapter. The last two I think is very important to have because I want to see how much time is left of a chapter for example. That could be nice to see. And it learns how fast you are reading, so it depends on how fast you are usually reading. Then the time is showing for that speed you are reading. So that's nice. We can go to page two. Here we have brightness level, you can show that. I show mine as 17 down here as you see. Co-reader memory usage, if you want to see how much memory co-reader takes on your e-reader. Because maybe you have problems with co-read, you can see if co-reader are using all the memory of your device. You can choose the Wi-Fi status as I had on my Paperwhite as I show you before. Page turning inverted is a feature you can have, so you can uh, turn pages uh, the opposite of you are using to, or used to, so you can show which of that you have here. You can show if you have that on or off by turning this on. You can show the book author, book title, chapter title, and custom text if you prefer. Uh, here it's a default to co-reader, but if you long press on this, you can set the text to what you want, for example, your name or something. So that will show the, the text you have chosen down here. So after you have chosen all the options you want to have in the status bar, then you can configure them by clicking on configure items. Then you can arrange them. So you have them in the order you want, showing them down here. So you can, for example, if I want to um, see the book title before the chapter title, for example, then I can just uh, click on the chapter title and then these icons move it up or down. So I can move it down like doing so. Now book title will show before chapter title. And when I'm happy, I just click done. Then I have arranged all these items exactly have how I want them. And you can choose to have all selected items at once. So you have all everything visible at once. You can have a decide to just show some stuff first and then when you press on it, it shows more information when you need to show that. You can have auto refresh items on. I don't do that because that drains the battery more. Uh, I have it so it uh, refreshes when uh, the page refresh instead. And it usually refreshes for every page turn too. So for example, when I turn the page, it uh, and these uh, pages are changing every time. So you don't need to have auto refresh items actually. Hide inactive items could be useful if you want to save storage in the status bar. So for example, if you have 100% of battery life, you don't need to show the battery life. And maybe you want to show it if it goes below 50% or something, then you can decide to do that. But exactly what I said is the high battery item at custom threshold there. Include current page in pages left, I don't use that. Here you can format how the pro progress percentage format should be. You can decide that by changing this to no decimal or one decimal or two decimal. And here you can choose the font of uh, the, the stuff you, done, you have down here. So I have mine at uh, 17 
and bold. You can choose to have symbols as icons. You can choose to have icons or letters or you have them compact if you prefer a compact icon. That could be useful if you have a small device like the Onyx Books Palma. And item separator, I have chosen bullet because that takes uh, less space than the others. You can choose uh, to have a, a vertical bar, a dot or a no separator. I choose the bullet as you see there. And on side two, page two, I mean, sorry. Um, item max width you can have that so it takes up the max width down here or you can set it to have uh, uh, some kind of margin there if you want you can align alignment to center you can alignment them to left or right if you prefer that and you can choose to have an height uh, of the status bar so 14 i have set there and the bottom margin is three and uh, I usually would have zero here but sometimes when reading outside in direct sunlight you get a shadow on the device so I prefer to have it at three so it goes above the shadow if you know what I mean so these stuff you can do with the status bar configured items uh, you can do long press on status bar to skim for example so if you have that activated you can use your finger to skim the book by dragging on the status bar i don't use that but you can if you prefer so that was what you can do with the status bar actually you can show a lot of different information if you prefer to have the alt status bar you can activate it by clicking down there and choose here here you can turn alt status bar on or off and if you turn that on it will show what you have set in the options of the alt status bar uh, so here you can decide which information you want to show up here too if you prefer to have the alt status bar you can even turn off the status bar at the bottom and only have that if you prefer but as i said i don't use the status bar so i turn that off So that was what you can do with the status bar and as I said uh, you can do a lot and one more thing that doesn't have any, uh, anything with the status bar to do is that many users don't know that if you click here above the status bar you can do all the settings you need to format the text margins uh, top and bottom left and right margins you can format the text here as you see line spacing and everything you can choose the font, uh, the size of the font, word spacing, word expansion. Uh, here you can choose the font weight, the boldness of the text if you prefer, and the contrast, font hinting, font kerning, and so on. Uh, many people don't know this, and uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, so that is also something that you should think of. So above the status bar, you just click there. Then you can format the text. Another thing that uh, some people don't know is when you do an option, uh, let's say that I want to have the view mode as a page and not continuous. Continuous it could be fun on an Android device by scrolling. And then you can scroll the text vertically. But if you want to have that as a default, you can just long press on it and set it to default. So every option you do down here, you can set it as default. So every book you are opening have the same kind of settings. So that's important if you want to have it as default. So for example, the top margin here, I can go in here and you see here, I can set it as default. Uh, I can also go into uh, this setting here and set everything here as default. I can set everything here as default by just long pressing and choose default. 
that is also something you need to think of when using CoReader. Because if you don't do that, you need to do the same settings all over again for every book you are opening. So uh, think of that when using the settings and menus and so on. You can do the, thing, the same thing in the menus here. So if you, uh, for example, want to have uh, uh, a style tweak here, you can, for example, go into paragraphs. Here you can set uh, something to default. You can have the paragraph first line intention here. Uh, we can set no indentation on first paragraph line as default. Just long press on it and choose default. So you, everything you are doing you can set as default if you prefer. That's also a tip I have for CoReader if you use CoReader a lot. So. Uh, that was it for this video. Please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more subscribers, so help me with this channel. If you like what I'm doing, so please help me by sharing my videos, for example, so other people can find my channel to subscribe to it. I would really appreciate it. If you like my content, please help me by sharing my channel and my videos. That would be really nice of you. Okay, bye.